Oh hi mommies, my name is Tui and welcome back to my channel. Today we have our youngest with us. She is seven months old and she's gonna help me help you guys know what to bring for our first cruise on the 20th on the Carnival Vista. So the first thing on our list would be an umbrella stroller. We want the umbrella stroller that's tall enough for, for ourselves and for our husbands to move around. We like the ones that recline back so whenever they go to sleep or take a nap on the cruise, it'll be easy for them. Also some good things to bring on the stroller would be a fan. This one's a good one because it has the claw so it could wrap around the handles and it's a USB charge. So we have two of, the, two of these. So one is good for charging and the other one is uh, good for use or we can charge both of them because these have a, a battery life of maybe an hour or two. Not sure but whenever it's on high I feel like it uses a lot more power than normal. Our next thing on the list for the stroller would be these good handles. Um, I like these because they're good for our bags whenever we want to clamp our bags on the handle of the stroller like so. So we do have a we do have two umbrella strollers for our two-year-old and um, our seven-month-old. However, we like to use this tag along because my, my son, he likes to walk around, so if we have to use one stroller, we could just bring one stroller and have this tag along, and, and we tell him to hold onto the handle so he'll walk with us. So he's really good about that. Whenever it comes to maybe on the cruise ship, he might have a little bit of issues because he'll be distracted, but that's okay. Uh, we have this handle here, so, so he'll stay. So for me, um, but for you guys, you guys might like the baby carrier. I'm not a big fan of the baby carrier because I'm five foot one. And so it's <laughs> holding these babies are kind of heavy on me. And so I feel like I'll just get shorter and shorter. So instead of having a baby carrier, I do prefer a hip hugger, which is really good. So it's really good. You just put it on like so, and then you carry the baby and then the baby, uh, their weight is usually mostly on this, the seat here. And so you're just holding, holding her or him like so. So it's, it's a lot easier if I have to carry her if I want to. So the next thing on the list would be some organizers. This is really good. It's an over the door organizer and it's got all these pockets. You can put all, you can put like maybe clothes or snacks or sandals, sunscreen. That's really good for organizing. And since the walls and the doors are magnetic in the cabin, we have these magnetic hooks. So since it's an over the door organizer, it does have these handles, but we're not gonna put it on a door. We're just gonna put it on the magnet walls itself. And these are the 25 pound ones. I'll post the links to see where, um, I'll post the link so you guys can buy it off of Amazon as well. So I'll just hold on to like this. And then we also have these foldable organizers, which is good for maybe some toys or whatever we want to put. So we got strollers down and organizers down. So what, what else is important would be our, the passports, the kiddos passports or their birth certificates. So we can't forget that. Also have, we have medicine for the kiddos. We want to bring everything. I have, let's see, some fiber just in case my baby boy says that he wants to eat ice cream all week long and he can't, he has trouble going to the potty. We have that, uh, a thermometer, that's good. Some fever medicine, some cold medicine, a nose aspirator, just in case they get the boogies. Oh, and don't forget a syringe. Definitely need a syringe for her. And we also have toiletries, uh, just some floss, um, toothpaste, toothbrush, and then the gum massager for, for my two-year-old. She doesn't have any teeth yet, so we're not brushing her teeth yet. And we also have a tablet and the charger. Can't forget the charger. That's really important. So I'm still pumping for her, so I'll be bringing my pump. Can't forget that. The charger. bottle, formula, pump parts, breast milk bag. And then also we want to get a, um, a cooler probably. Uh, I only have this size cooler, but for the cruise itself, you get, you're allowed to have a 12 by 12 by 12. My dad has a cooler so he'll be bringing his this is just I'm just showcasing it that we're gonna bring a cooler because I do pump a little bit more than she can drink um, the formula is just in case I don't 
just in case I'm dehydrated and I'm not, I'm not giving her a lot of breast milk. Then I have some urgent emergency formula for her or if anyone else on the cruise ship kind of needs it and the mom's asking like, hey, I'm out of formula. Can I have some? Okay, then I have some. Also, a travel bottle cleaner. This is really good. I, I This is the first time I'm going to be using it on the cruise ship or anywhere. I bought it off of Amazon. I'll have a link posted below. It looks really good. It's got a soap dispenser here. And then, here it is. Oh, here's the bottom for the brush, like so. And then here's a nipple brush. And then if you have one of those bottles like I do, the Dr. Brown, so that's green inside, you need this kind of brush to clean that. So that's really good. I like this little travel set. It's really cute and really neat. And then it's a holder too. So whenever you're drying the bottles, put it up overnight, flip it upside down, like so. You get the idea. And then we have our diaper bag. So so we don't do the, the, the other diaper bag anymore because um, my husband and I, we both handle the kiddos. And so it's just easier for us to have a bag that's open and there's not so many pockets to where it confuses my husband. And so this is good for us. <laughs> we're, we're just using a beach bag for our diaper bag. We've been doing it for a few months already. So this is a good travel toilet seat for my son. I don't know if he'll need it. He does pretty well, but since whenever you flush the toilet on the cruise ship, it's really loud. So maybe he'll be scared, but this is just in case. I'll, I'll see on this first cruise how, how he does with it, but it comes with a nice bag to go as well. So if we don't need it, then, then we can just put it in our suitcase. It's just fine and we won't see it again. We need extra clothes for my kiddos. Extra clothes here, a diaper mat, obviously some diapers, diaper wipes, uh, diaper baggies. Uh, we want these disposable bags so that we can put our diapers in and then and tie it, tie it in the back and then just throw it in the trash and it wouldn't make your room smell. Wet bags are good just in case they soil their clothes. And, and so this is really good in case you've never used it. I do cloth diaper my kiddo at home. And uh, what it is, it's a wet bag and it keeps all the witness inside the bag. And it's good for swimsuits as well. Also diapers and clothes. And then of course, some baby food for her. Some boogie wipes. Oh, and then we, um, we have a silicone bib, but for this trip, we're gonna use disposable bibs. So this is really good. So you just open that, put it on her or him, my toddler too. And they have like stickies right here, just rip that off and then it'll just stick on their clothes. And then it has a, a pocket to catch the food. You just have to flip it inside out though. So our next items on the list would be the beach stuff. We have my son's floaty for when we go to the beach. Um, we're going on our excursions and for excursions make sure you look at the ports where you would have to bring a car seat for the kiddos that places that we're going to we don't need a car seat so we're not going to be bringing that but for instance if you're going to like alaska or you're going into a rental car or something then you would need a car seat so make sure you're bringing that i'm just going to bring a simple uh bucket and shovel for my toddler don't forget sunscreen got the spray one too and then we have the stick one for their face so this is really good instead of using the wet stuff on their face, you just kind of rub it in like a, a chapstick. We have water shoes for my son. Of course, there are swim, um, swimsuits. I like these because it um, the, the ones with the sleeves, it really keeps you warm. So it's going to keep their kiddos warm too. Oh, that's inside out. And then swim diapers for my baby girl. Don't forget the sun hat. And then a sun hat for my son. He likes to wear this one. And then for toys, I have this floaty shark thing. It's from Target. It Since it doesn't sink, it floats. It, it's really good for my kiddos. And then when it comes to like shower time, um, there's no bathtub in our, in our cabin. So I have this collapsible laundry bucket for her to sit in because mainly my, my mom's gonna wash her, I think. And then for the carnival splash area, she's not allowed. It's only for toddlers that are potty trained. And so even if they have swim diapers, they're not allow, allowed for the carnival area. And so we're just going to fill this with water and then let her splash into it. And then basically just throw in this shark toy. Um, 
or the fishies float, and sh and she'll just have fun with that on the deck while my while my son plays on the splash pad area. So the last few things on the list would be bring lots of Ziploc bags for for snacks, so that when you go to the buffet, you can grab some extra snacks for the kiddos and bring it back to the room. And or if you don't like the idea of Ziploc bags, you can bring Tupperware, which is good too. I have this uh, this skirt here. This Oh, what's it called? I forgot. It's for cloth diapering too, but but in case, I'll have a link posted below. For some reason, I just forgot the name of it. But this is a skirt or shorts, just in case my son falls asleep early and we can't, we, usually when he's asleep, we can brush his teeth really easily, but we can't wake him up to go pee because then he'll just be awake. And so instead of doing that, and we know that his bladder is kind of full, in case he wets the bed, we don't want him to wet the bed. He'll just wet, wet this skirt here and we'll just wash it. We don't want to be too much trouble um, with with the staff there. We don't want to wet the mattress there because I don't know if they have waterproof sheets. We don't want to bring waterproof sheets, so this is really good too. And if he does soil it, we can always hand wash it and let it dry over overnight or in the daytime on the dock on the pool side, and then it'll dry and then we can use it again the next day. But um, we won't. He ever since he's like worn this for the nights that we think that he might pee his his shorts, he hasn't. And so this is just in case. So the toys that we're going to be bringing for my son would be like this busy book. This is really good. He's like learning his ABCs. Um, he knows most of his animals, his seasons, his uh, his months. Um, just a really good busy book for for learning a little bit. He loves his play doh, but he he, he has to play the play doh with us, so he'll he'll like that. He might be able to play with other other friends because he does like to share. We also have his magnet tiles. So the cabin walls is all magnetic and the door. So he'll have fun with this, with his magnet tiles. And then a new good one, a new good toy would be these magnetic men. Now look at this, whoa. So um, for this one, I told my son to be very careful not to let his baby sister play with this, just in case, because she's putting everything in her mouth now. And these things have like little magnets at the end here, but we don't know like how tight tight they are inside so of course we don't want her to swallow the magnet so this is this is a supervised toy for my son oh and these are good to bring for dinner time too because i do stick to the uh forks and the spoons in case he wants to play with that during dinner time we'll be bringing this the magnetic men and his tablet just in case he finishes early and we, we're still eating and so that that'll keep him occupied we also have his favorite monster trucks he loves his monster trucks and we'll be bringing several more too just in case because he does like to share his his monster trucks and then we also have his magnet cosmetic magnetic trains that's a fun one for him too so i did forget to mention you have to bring clothes for your kiddos of course and don't forget their socks and shoes for our cruise ship we're gonna have two formal nights and so I was able to find two dresses for my baby girl and then some vests for my son. Uh, I'm still looking for the pants and his shirts and bow ties and whatnot. Also, a good thing to have is earmuffs for your little ones. My toddler is pretty stubborn now, so he doesn't want to wear it anymore. But for my baby girl, she can wear it because she's not going to try to take it off. It's good whenever she's asleep and we're going to go see shows or go to the auditorium, any, anywhere that's loud. So we can put that on her and then a night light for at nighttime. Also, we want to bring an extension cord. Make sure that it doesn't say a surge protector because that's not what Carnival wants. So they don't want this one. They do want the regular extension cord. You can find out by going online. I'll have a link below showing you which ships have how many outlets. For the Carnival Vista, it's only going to have one outlet. And so we're going to need an extension cord, of course. Hopefully I covered everything for you guys. I'll have a PDF at the bottom in the description that you guys could use. It's just a packing list. Um, if there's anything that you want to add, I can always edit it and add some more stuff. Let me know. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this gives you an idea of what to bring and what not to bring to see, to see what your kiddos would like for the trip. And um, thanks for watching our video with a baby sister. Uh, she did pretty well. I didn't have to give her a snack. Thank you so much. Bye, mommies.